Welcome back to the podcast, She Who Believes. I am your host, Vivian Bell, and I am indeed She Who Believes. So it's been a little bit since you guys have actually seen me on screen. And um, so I thank you guys for your patience, but thank you for staying faithful to listening to the podcast. And if you are hearing this and you're thinking, where do I see her um, on the podcast? You can go over to YouTube. I'm, I'm at Vivian Bellcom. Um, at Vivian Bellcom is my handle on all socials. Uh, I be- believe on LinkedIn. I can't remember correctly if it's on LinkedIn, but definitely on Facebook, Twitter, Insta, and um, on uh, YouTube. So that is if you go to youtube.com forward slash at Vivian Bellcom, you will be at the YouTube page. You can also watch this podcast um, video on Spotify. So if you're watching on Spotify or any of the other platforms that will actually show video, you'll get to actually see the video of this uh, podcast. Well, you guys know that I move around a little bit and I don't always get the viewing of the cameras properly, but um, I'm here with you. So we're here. We're here together at the podcast, She Who Believes. So as always, we're going to shout out the, the countries and the cities that have been listening, watching or listening to the podcast. And so we are shouting out. Um, so um, there's two different ways that through my platform that you can see this podcast outside of Spotify. You can watch it on my YouTube page and then you can also see and watch or listen to the podcast at the website VivianBell.com. So um, at that website, um, between that website and all of the um, the platforms for which I um, have uh, analytics for, um, I collect the cities and the states and the countries that listen. And so over this past seven days, we've had listeners from uh, the U.S., from France, from Singapore, from India, from Belgium, Japan, Canada, the Netherlands, Norway, Germany, the U.K., and India. Now, as always, the same the same states have been just steadily listening to us. We we had more states at one point, but this core state, this core list of states I'm about to name, has been the course list of states that have listened to this podcast consecutively for five years. And so we're grateful and we thank you. And so those are um, Florida, Washington, Virginia, Ohio, California, Texas, Georgia, North Carolina. Oregon, Pennsylvania, New York, Michigan, Arkansas, Illinois, Tennessee, and New Jersey and Missouri. So this week we're going to actually shout out the cities um, within the state of, I apologize because I tried to move my screen over, there we are, um, within the state of North Carolina. And so the states that are, the cities that are listening, um, that I have listened over the last seven days in the state of North Carolina are Charlotte, New Bern, Huntersville, Kannapolis, and Greenville. And so we thank you guys for tuning in and um, listening to us. Um, Again, we don't take it lightly. We don't just see it as some numbers because to be honest with you, I'm not up until probably the fourth year of the podcast near the end. I started like really just, um, well, actually, I decided to be obedient to the Lord because it was coming in my spirit, like check your stats. And I'm like, I'm not here for that. I don't really care. It doesn't matter. Um, but what that did um, for me as well, when like God's really just been even more so dealing with me about it, it wasn't for me about, OK, all these places are listening to this podcast. But for me, it needed to be about, yes, I want to um, be able to pray for each location. So, again, I want to ask you guys to commit each week. If you hear a location and you feel moved in your spirit to pray for them, we pray for the cities and the states and the countries. And um, we, we pray for the leaderships, we pray for church leaders, we pray for homes and families, and uh, we pray against things like sex, sex trafficking and drug dealing and all the other illegal things that may happen within this one community or that makes the person afraid to be in their community. Um, whatever you're led to pray for the community that God has placed in your spirit when you heard us speak those, then pray for those communities because we all need prayer everywhere, no matter where we are, no matter what our position, no matter what. Our, our, our financial statuses or marital status of any, or any of those things, we all need prayer. And prayer does change things. We are praying to the only God, the only God that exists, um, Elohim, Jehovah, uh, Jehovah Sikhanu, whatever whatever name that you call him in that moment, and not that his name changes or his ability changes, but um, there were names that were given back in Bible times to represent, like Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah, um, uh, Rafa. And there's also Elroy means the God who sees, E-L, 
space of ROI. Elroy means the God who sees me. God sees me. So that that person called him that because um, back then they thought that it was that his name was so holy it was too much to just call him God or to reference him in that way. So they 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 gave him the name like Jehovah. Then there's Jehovah uh, again, and then there are names that's added to that to describe because they're praising God and they're saying, Hey, you're our provider. You're our way maker. You are the, our healer. You are the God that sees us. There are so many different names that have been given to God, and I didn't mean to go into that education, but that means that that someone is listening who needs that. And I want you to know that 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 God. God, the only wise, the one and only God does see you. He cares about you. He cares about your status, the, the situation that you, you're in. And as a child of God, I want to promise you that God will come and get you. That, that for you to stay encouraged, to stay in expectation of him and to trust and believe God, because I promise you he will step into your situation for you. It's not always when we want it to be, but I promise you that he will. Because how do I know? Because that's the promise that he's made us. And God keeps all of his promises. And as I mentioned before, if we decide to take time out of the equation, then that takes away disappointment and it takes away fear of lack because we don't think that God's running out of time. He can't. He's eternal. Time does not confine him. He created it for us so that we would know the days and times and months and seasons so that we can count our days and use them wisely. So anyway, I don't know. We are here on the podcast. Those of you who may know who've been with us for some time and um, know that our staple scripture for this podcast is Luke 1 verse 45. But for those of you who do not know, that is a scripture that um, is very near and dear to me at one point. Um, it just, it was, God was speaking to me about uh, gaps in the, in the scripture. And I shouldn't say gaps, but vagueness in the scripture, right? And so um, this scripture reads as follows, and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. And so when God started talking to me about this particular verse and about making his promises personal for me, and um, and he moved me to start this podcast, it was entitled that because I started this podcast, Believe in God, Trusting Him. And to be honest with you, if you've not heard, this podcast was really the fulfillment of a promise from God. Uh, many years ago, um, over 10 years ago now, um, there was actual radio. And I know you guys know that there's satellite radio and all of those things, but there were radio stations, like actual stations that you go and you sit in and you do your own editing and videos and commercials. And I worked for a ministry. And um, so I was the producer of that show. I edited the show. I set up background music. I set up um, you know, um, aligning up our guests. Like there are so many things that I learned that God blessed me to learn in that season. And one day I was editing um, our, um, some, uh, oh, what am I trying to say? Some voiceovers. And um, the Lord spoke to me, he said, I'm going to give you your own radio show and it's not going to cost you anything. It's going to be free. I'm going to give it to you. And I was like, okay, Lord, I don't need a radio show. Like I'm good in the background. He goes, I know that, but I'm going to give you a radio show. And so I thought, okay, well, that's fine. And so I had several opportunities come up, but none of them lined up with what God had told me he was going to do for me, <clears throat> excuse me, and exactly how he was going to do it. Not knowing that eventually there were going to be podcasts and that podcast wouldn't cost a dime and that the Lord would uh, lead me to do this particular podcast or as some call it a radio show or whatever. But this is the fulfillment of that promise from God to be able to speak to people in, in many different nations and countries and not just let it be a local radio station, but where I would be able to minister to people and talk to people about faith, about trusting God, about believing him and to do it from a platform where I could be heard and not have to be in all of those places. Um, but again, here we are with this technology of um, podcasting. And as you heard, we are being listened to in other countries and cities and states. And I just thank God for that. So um, anyway, I say that not, um, again, not bragging, but just I am bragging, actually bragging on God and his promises and his power and his ability to not only keep his promise, but his desire to do so and how he de he, he is delights in blessing us. So this verse, I speak this verse, but when I declare this verse, I say, and blessed is Vivian who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. Now, God has made me many promises, and it's not just about this, this radio show slash podcast, whatever you want to call it, um, this, this platform to speak to people about faith and about God and to encourage them and to remind them to love themselves because they are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. But it is also 
uh, uh, about, it is about believing God for so many other promises. My children are walking around today because God made me a promise about my children and what type of mother I would be when I was 12, getting ready to commit suicide and walk into a lake because I could not and cannot swim. I decided I was just gonna walk until I couldn't walk anymore and that life left my body. But God began to speak to me about, um, make me some promises about making me a mom and a great mom and having kids. And I don't say that like to say I'm the best mom in the world, but um, God is good. He blessed me to be able, in spite of the things that I went through growing up, still be a loving mother and to love my children. Now I don't get it right. I'm not perfect. If you ask my 23 year old son, he can probably tell you how many times I've messed that up this, this week alone. And it's just not Wednesday, right? Uh -huh. So just know that um, God keeps his promises. Uh, my father is alive, I believe, because I know because of a promise that I prayed and I went to God and I asked him to remember my father and to heal him. The doctor said, said that he would be lucky if he lived a year after his first after his first open heart surgery. That was when my dad was in his early to mid thirties. And now my father is over 70 years old because God is faithful. So this girl, I may not be, I might not always get it right. I'm not perfect. I make my mistakes, but my faith, I won't let it go. I'm not going to. I fight for it every single day. The enemy comes and he wants to steal it. And he wants to take your faith as well because it is the only thing that tells us in Ephesians 6 that quenches all the fiery darts of the evil one. So I'm here today and I'll be here every week and every time that even if we have to play one that we've aired in the past, we will be here encouraging you to hold fast to your faith, to trust the God that made you the promise because the one who promises faithful. So again um, that's for somebody because i again had none of that in my outline but here we are so today the title of today's podcast is the x file the x file so those of you who might be a little bit older or you know um you you might have heard about the show the x files i'm not gonna sit here and pretend i know what it's about never never watched it never cared to do so um, but it I, I, it gave me the, the the thought of, you know, just watching the previews, that it was going to be some kind of show that talked about weird and unexpected things that took place and how they were going, they were being revealed and maybe they were trying to keep them quiet. And you're thinking, Faith in the X-Files, like, what's up with that? How does that happen? Well, let's go to talking about unexpected things, right? And remaining in expectation. So the X for us today means it stands for the expectation files, right? So even though there's an E in front of the X and expectations, this is this is my podcast. I'm going with it. Um, so the X files for me are testimonies that I have, that testimonies that we all have based on a place of expectation of God that He said something to us. We expected Him to do it, and then we begin to behave as though what He said to us was true. Um, that is a definition that, that or, or at least my rendition of the definition that Dr. Tony Evans gives about having faith is that um, acting as though you believe that what God has told you has already taken place or is already true. Um, I'll share with you guys here on the podcast about how God told me, he says, when I tell you something, I'm merely making you aware that it is already done. So when we have the word of God, whether it's his written word, whether it's his word that he's spoken to our spirit, you know, sometimes it's, it can be audible. Some people say that, you know, they've never heard it be audible. I, I have on a couple of occasions heard the audible voice of God. Um, but um, it could be audible. It could be just that impression in your spirit. Like, you know, the Holy Ghost is revealing some things to you. The Spirit of God that you receive that baptism revealing things to you about what God wants you to do, what his desire is for you. And so sometimes it may not be audible, but we still know that it's God. And we know it because our, our soul confirms it. The Holy Spirit within us confirms it. And so we listen and we obey and we, we follow. So we, most of the time we make sure we want to make sure that we obey quickly we don't always obey quickly but we do eventually obey um and so the x files is really just about me coming on today to remind you to remain an expectation of god to expect god to do exactly what he's promised but also to do what you've asked of him to do um the things that you need so philippians 4 19 tells us that god will supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus our Lord, right? He says it's his riches, not ours. And he says he will supply all our need. So that doesn't mean that you don't ask God for the things that you need because the word of God tells us to ask and keep on asking, to seek and keep on seeking. 
and to knock and to keep on knocking. So that means don't let time discourage you from coming back and saying, God, I'm here again and I'm asking you for this thing. I'm believing you for this thing. And so even if you say, for instance, you're asking for something and God, there's a delay or a no or a not right now, we've got to trust the God of heaven enough who's given us the promise, who's given us the desire of our hearts to fulfill it in his perfect appointed time. He says that there's an appointed time for everything. He's appointed it. So be in expectation of that appointment. Be in expectation of it. Like when we have a, a date and a time for something, we're excited, right? We are excited because we're like, hey, we got. I got an appointment. I'm on the books. Well, just because you don't know you, when your appointment is and what time it is, doesn't mean you shouldn't be equally excited because you're still on the books. You got it? He's still on his books. He still cares about you. He's already gone ahead of you and, and may straight your path and put every provision that you'll ever need, including the measure of faith. He has given each man a measure of faith. He's a measure to you what you need to fulfill the things that he called you to do, not what for me to do. He didn't give you the faith for me. He gave me my own faith. He gave me enough. And if he grows it. He stretches it. He multiplies it and he increases us. Um, and he increases the faith um, within us. It's like um, seeds are being planted in water. And he, sometimes he, um, what do you call it? He prunes it so that it grows more, right? Same thing with our faith, right? So today, honestly, I'm just here to remind you to remain in expectation of God. There's somebody, it's, it's your child, and you have been praying and you've been believing God to restore them, to heal them, to deliver them. Keep believing. Keep believing. It could be your marriage. It could be... Uh, your business and God has made you promises. Keep believing, remain in expectation of God. How do I do that? How do we remain in expectation of God? That you work like what he's told you is true. Like he's told me that I'm a, both, a multi-billion dollar business owner of many ventures. So I operate like that. I, I prepare myself for that. I have prepared um, processes and uh, um, infrastructure, digital and all these other things to prepare for this this type of or level of business, I have prayed about who my team is and what my team should look like, and I'm preparing uh, um, job descriptions and uh, thinking about what perfect person or what person per, with a certain personality should fit into certain roles. Because he's made me these promises, he said these things to me. I'm preparing uh, programs and uh, different ventures in my business. Uh, based on the word of God, I'm writing books and journals and all these things based on the word of God, not always understanding why he has me doing it or why he's giving me a particular thing. Sometimes God will give me a title and I feel like then he drops off the map and reference to that thing. And then when it's time, he'll come back and he'll show me like right now, this program that God is um, allowing me to bring forth in this season. He started planting that years ago because I thought it was going to be the title of a podcast. And then I thought it was going to be the title of a different radio show that I have on another station right now, but God didn't let it be that. He let it become something else. And so as I go back and he's taken me back over the last several weeks to walk through certain um, vision books that I have, books that I will walk sometimes in the store until I started creating my own. Um, and unless God sends me back, I'll do that. But I would walk into a store. He would send me in purposely. Hey, I need you to go in the store and grab a journal. You'll know when you get there because it's going to have the words on it that I've been talking to you about. Or I will point it out to you when you get there. And I will get there and the Lord will be like, that's the one. And um, I'll pick it up and it's perfect from the things that's on the inside to maybe the colors, the, the words on the front where God has been speaking to me. And so I've written the, the visions as he downloads them to me. And so he's taking me back through several, three or four little thick um, vision booklets. And throughout it was uh, just woven in all of the things that this program is. So um, I am excited. I'm planning, I'm building, I'm doing what God has said because I'm in expectation of the results he's promised me. And it's not just a financial thing, like, oh, God promised me to bless my business. Oh, he's done that. But it's about the people that will be reached, healed, delivered because of this business, because of this, this venture and this infrastructure that I'm putting together according to the word of God. And I say that to give God all glory, not for me, but for God to get all the glory. But I will say yes to him because if God had enough trust in me to choose me for it. I'm going to trust him enough to know that he's right in everything else and to know he's giving me what I need to just move forward. So I'm going to move forward. And so that may, that may look like me having to shut down some other parts of my business as it previously was. Doesn't mean God didn't speak about those then. That just means that their time is up. 
it's time for me to move over into something else. It all I also do that by just uh, it, it can also look like um, not worrying about what people are saying or thinking or pitching too small, believing him to pitch to the big organizations and the larger schools and all of those things, and to expect that when I go in that I will have the favor that God has promised to me. I'm sharing all of these things because there are, there is somebody listening who has a dream, whether it's of a business, of a ministry, of a marriage, of your child being healed and made whole. Hold fast to that. Trust God for it. Trust Him so much that you start building and preparing for it. And then keep your own vision book or your own X files, your files of expectation, because that's what I call them. They are now my X files, the place that I expected God to show up, and He did it. The place where I can mark the spot, the X, and know that this is the place God gave me the word. And then at this X over here is the place that He fulfilled it. So mark the X. X marks the spot. When God speaks, mark the spot. Mark it. Mark it with praise. Mark it with offering. Mark it with mark it with worship. And then mark it with writing the vision and making it plain. So when it's time for you to run with it, you can do so. Well, you've listened and watched the podcast She Who Believes, and I am your host, Vivian Bell. And I am indeed she who believes. I look forward to seeing you back here next week. God bless.